First thing we're going to start with is the new Axion uh, laser cider and the uh, second zero. Yes, sir. So can you give us a rundown on how it works? Absolutely. Uh, the absolute zero is a laser sighting device. Uh, works on principle that your scope is pointed in a direction, your barrel is pointed in a direction, and you want to coincide that with a bullet uh, to begin that sighting in process. If you've got two points that you can hold on a target downrange that never change, uh, if you, if there's a sight or a, a sticker that has boxes on it that you can orient those to. So if you pick those two spots on that and hold to that exact same spot and make your adjustments after your first shot, you're going to have a 25 yard zero. Uh, now that doesn't get you out to 100. So you've got to do make an adjustment on your elevation to get out to 100. Uh, but that gives you a great starting point, and uh, effectively you can do a one-shot 100-0 if you trust your adjustments on your scope. Uh, we usually just go ahead and do a second shot uh, to verify things on that, uh, but it's a real convenient, easy way to set up a zero on a, on a brand new scope or a new gun moving over an old scope. That, that actually is not a new idea to uh, take a shot and move the crosshair to see where that that's right. That's right. Yeah, you know where you were holding the gun based on the placement of those lasers. And we're pretending that that's our strip that we have down range. If that's where I was holding when I took that first shot, I'm going to bring it right back to that same point and pull the trigger again, and we'll be good to go. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you good? That's correct, yeah. RWS uh, products, uh, premium air guns, great, great fit and finish on those, great quality. Uh, what we wanted to do was to bring something to the market that was a little bit different. Uh, what Essentially, RWS is going to be making these parts in Germany still, but we're going to assemble it here in the United States. And so you're going to get some, some a little bit different uh, uh, features and look for these products. Uh, Probably most notably is the stocks on these. Uh, it's a little bit different uh, stock than what RWS usually puts on the 34. Uh, this is the uh, I believe they do. They are coming in as well. No, no, they're not marked stock. Uh, we've got great checkering here on the stocks. Great color, great finish here as well. Uh, but the, the most awesome thing about this, we're putting Americans to work here in, in Fort Smith, uh, put together a great product. Uh, this is the 3400, uh, the whole 3400 GP. Uh, got great open sights on it. The Diana 11 millimeter rails are always used there. Uh, Lockdown uh, knocks will work on that great. Uh, with this piece here. That's right, it, it's more like a clone of the 34. The same. You never know what people do with uh, that. That I don't know. I don't know about that. It's very well possible that they can expand it down the line. Uh, the 350 Magnum is probably one of the most uh, famous Magnum air rifles out there. It really put the power on the market. Uh, we're going to do that again in, in the United States here with the model 3500. Uh, you got this long Magnum too, big powerful spring in there. Uh, the great traditional 350 Magnum sights here, front and rear on that. Uh, same thing, great Manili stocks on these. Great fit finish and checking. Uh, the, uh, the 3500 rather is going to have checking front uh, on the forearm. Yeah. It really is. It's really a great product. Uh, and what it's going to do, it's going to actually, I'm not trying to cannibalize the market or anything, but it's going to offer these a little bit cheaper than what you could at 34 or a model 350. Uh, and our intention is that is to give a shooter who's getting into air guns a chance to get an awesome fit and finish product, a great quality product for, for a little bit less than what they would have paid otherwise.
<laughs> we expect these to come out in the summer uh, of this year. So uh, that's right. Yeah, we we have all the products, uh, all the parts approved. Uh, we're just working on getting the manufacturing assembly facility completed. That that's right. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Uh, 177 and 22 in these.